Hello and welcome to problem solving session on triangles. Now the question says in the given figure QT QT is perpendicular to PR. So let's understand the figure first. So it's given that QT is perpendicular to PR. Correct. And what else? TQR is 40 degrees. So you can see TQR is 40 degree here, 40 degree. And uh, SPR is 30 degrees. So this is 30 degrees. We have to find out x and y. So convention is to write first given. What is given? So all that mentioned in the problem Q2 is perpendicular to PR. And angle TQR is 40 degrees. And angle SPR is 30 degrees. Okay. To find, what do we need to find? We need to find values of x and y okay so in triangle we know uh, that the sum of three angles is 180 degrees and since in this given figure uh, we have been asked to find out the values of x and y which happen to be angles themselves so let's use the uh, known fact that is sum of three angles of a uh, triangle is 180 degrees and second one which is going to be used is exterior angle theorem that is the sum of interior opposite angles is equal to the exterior angle these are the two things which we are going to use so let's solve this problem now um if you see angle since since qt is perpendicular to pr okay therefore can I not say that QTP is 90 degrees, a right angle, correct? QTP is right angle. Now, if you notice, this QTP is the exterior angle, exterior angle, and the interior opposite angles are these two. This one is one, this one is two, isn't it? So, guys, can I not say that angle QTP is equal to angle TQR plus X and why can I say this this is because exterior angle theorem isn't it right exterior angle theorem very well so QTP is 90 degree we already know so 90 degrees TQR is 40 degrees so 40 degrees plus X so very very straightforward now so what is x x is 90 degrees minus 40 degrees which is 50 degrees so we got the value of x now let's find out the value of y so again if you look closely for y if this is y this angle is this y this is y then interior angles are x and this 30 degree isn't it for that triangle or that angle PSQ. So I'm saying angle PSQ is equal to angle SPR plus angle PRS. Is it? Why is this again? Because of XT external, sorry, exterior angle theorem. Sum of interior opposite angles is exterior angle correct so p s q right so that is y so y will be equal to 30 degrees plus x because spr was 30 degree you can see from the figure and x we just found out which was 50 degrees so it becomes 30 plus 50 degrees hence y is 80 degrees right so that's how we found out both x and y. So x is 50 and so to summarize x is equal to 50 degrees and y is 80 degrees. So we did not require the angle sum property in this case. Isn't it? You could have used it if let's say the question had asked you to find out this angle. Right then angle sum property would be used. So let's say this vertically opposite angles if you have to find out then angle sum property could have been used. Okay?